Ladies and gentlemen, Trump actually got a really wonderful date, uh, trial date, timeline from Judge Cannon, Eileen Cannon. And I love that Democrats and the morally superior are so upset that a judge, one judge, one judge is siding with Trump on these things. Just one. Every other judge appointed by President Obama or Bill Clinton um, they're always, they're always ruling against Trump here and there, never a problem. But if a judge does something good for Trump, oh my God, they should recuse themselves. They should never have been born. It's a horrible thing. CNN, judge sets May 2024 trial date for Donald Trump long before November. So it's months and months before November 24. A federal judge ordered Friday that the trial and the classified documents case that special counsel Jack Smith brought against the former president, Donald Trump, uh, sh- should begin on May in May of 2024. 20, uh, U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon said the trial date could begin as early as May 20th. A pretrial hearing in the case will be held on May 14th. This is fantastic, people. It is really, really good. It's good for a number of reasons. Number one, uh, during the primary, during the Republican primaries, Trump is like a freight train. He's like a locomotive. He's like a runaway locomotive and freight train. Nothing stops this man. And the momentum, I mean, just watching Chris Crispy or like if you watch two seconds on TV of Liz Cheney or Kinzinger or Chris Crispy or Mitt Romney, you just, you you beg, you, you pray to God for Trump because you either want a very sad, pathetic, corrupt political establishment and system to be in place, the... Liz Cheney, Nancy Pelosi world of pri- private servers from Hillary Clinton siphoning classified data outside of the United States government and doing so unintentionally, according to the Honorable James Comey. You want a world where, in unison, um, the Washington Post, the New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone... Um, the Atlantic, New Yorker, New York Magazine, The Nation, uh, BuzzFeed, Vice, uh, Daily Beast, Raw Story, they all say they have the same editor. They have the same editors. They say the same things about Trump. Why would you buy one over the other? Does it matter if you read the Washington Post or the New York Times or the Atlantic? It's the same article. What I'm, there is a paradigm, a cult, really, of thought. You know, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is different from Trump in certain ways, but wants to reform a very corrupt system. Tulsi Gabbard is brilliant, wants to reform a, 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 a corrupt system. Donald Trump, we had record low poverty with Trump, record highs in household median income. Doha agreement that brought Americans home. He brought Americans home from two theaters of conflict. And he didn't start or allow a never-ending military conflict like we see in Europe. The invasion took place under Biden's watch. Gee, I wonder why. Because it was the Democratic Party's foreign policy that pushed for that to take place. If you don't understand that, you don't know much about foreign policy. And so you want Trump... It's a moral imperative to vote for Trump over a Democrat in 2024 because this system right now is not helping anyone. Poverty has gone up for every demographic group. Every demographic group in this country. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. To the members, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being members of this channel. The Patreon is below, uh, and also the Super Thanks is below. You either it's, it's very simple. You can indict Trump 50, 60, 70 times. It doesn't matter, just like it wouldn't matter if Biden was indicted 50 times. Over, and then, you know, if, well, that's a little bit. If Clinton was indicted, they'd still vote for Clinton. Uh, you know, and she actually, there was... Okay, it's a criminal act to own servers outside that p- siphoning classified data outside the U.S. government. I think she'll still be the 24 nominee. 
I think that Hillary Clinton somehow will be the 24 nominee for the Democratic Party. I just don't see mashed potato brains um, doing this all over again, especially with impeachment on the horizon. They're going to impeach mashed potato. Mashed potato will be impeached. Okay, and and Hunter's laptop will finally get the uh, respect it deserves <laughs> from Democrats or the I should say the the uh, interest because it's not about see the Democratic Party is composed of very intelligent people who delude themselves all the time all the time. They're so intelligent. They're very good at delusional and uh, deluding themselves. So you say, oh, it's about pictures. Come on. It's not about pictures. You imbecile. It has nothing to do with the plethora of amazing photos and videos <laughs> that Hunter has. It's nothing to do with it. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about Hunter's personal life. Okay, I don't even know if I I saw like one. I don't even know if it was like an actual video. It was like him speaking to. I don't even want to get into it. But it's like ah, uh, you know what? It's like I. It's like him speaking to let's just say a worker and getting into it like the argument that you would have with a boyfriend and girlfriend, but this is like a specific type of worker. And it's like, well, what's the point of that? If the whole point of engaging in that is to not get into anyway, the whole point is that's a whole other story. Okay. That's a whole other story. I don't even know. Let's just say, you know what? It could be a video that doesn't exist. Or exists on, you know, this platform. I think I saw it on this platform. But anyway, or New York Post. The point is... <laughs> the point is... I don't care about Hunter's personal life. I care about Joe and Hunter selling the U.S. government or selling access to the U.S. government. Which is obviously what took place. Which is obviously what took place. And so, Trump did not, you know... Uh, withhold military assistance to find out. That's why he's going to get his, his, his uh, impeachments expunged. Trump did not withhold military assistance, thus forcing uh, Americans to vote for him uh, because he wanted to investigate Biden right before November of 2020. Oh, my God. So every corrupt act is then marketed as... Oh, you just try, you're just you just trying to find out how despicable and insidious and nefarious the Democrats are. And you're doing so. To, it's in other countries' plot to get Trump back in office. Because if people know that Bernie Sanders was cheated by Debbie Wasserman and Schultz and Clinton and Democrats, well, then they'll vote for Trump. If people know that... Um, that Hunter and Joe were selling access to the U.S. government and 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 uh, taking money, basically bribery schemes. Well, then they, then the people will vote for Trump. Well, well, we can't have that. It's like, well, yeah. What do you expect? The alternative is better. Trump is much better than what we see. Okay. The problem is you have, like I said, the Washington Post, New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone. Uh, the Atlantic, New Yorker, New York Magazine, all of Hollywood, social media algorithms, I mean, everything. And then you have loyalists in the U.S. government. Everything. You have so many advantages as the Democratic Party and still half the, almost half the electorate chooses Trump. Think about that. And he's indicted like 10 times now. And still almost half the electorate votes Trump. Why do you think that? Think about why and who's in the cult. It's not the person voting for Trump who gets disowned by friends and family. No, it's not It's not that person who, like, I lost 10 friends. I don't care if they vote for Biden. The cult member is the person who says, I have to purge myself of Trump supporters in my life. That is the cult member. If you join a cult, the cult is going to tell you, uh, don't be friends with people outside of uh, this this group. I don't care who you vote for. I put friendship and family above politics. But if you're an imbecile who is like completely ignorant of all the corruption, the massive corruption on the Democratic Party, because all you read is the New York Times, and you're like, well, the reality fits my biases. Well, like, well it's not reality. It's extremely, it's, it's a lie by omission. You watch CNN, you read the New York Times, you are ignorant of most of what's going on because they lie by omission. They tell you a certain portion. They don't tell you the whole pie. They don't give you the whole pie. They give you one slice. The slice tastes good, but it's not the whole thing. 
Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Trump got a great trial date. Give me your thoughts. Thanks so very, very much. I'll be back.